what is up everybody coffee break is back with another video and the obvious is going to be talked about today yes we're going to be talking about lance's injury jimmy garoppolo kyle shanahan the fan base need to get a pulse for everybody involved with the 49ers and uh yeah so let's just jump right into it right so um, I was able to go to the game yesterday, all thanks to Aaron from First and Faithful. Thank you again, Aaron. Um, so, it's crazy that the way things unfold. I feel like the Niners season has just turned into another episode of Game of Thrones. But, here we are. Lance broke his ankle and is out for the year. Requires surgery today. Um, my first initial reaction to the whole thing, I was at the game, and that was, I think, his third rushing attempt. I could be wrong about that, but I think it was his third attempt that game. It was barely, you know, the first quarter. And after, just literally after that play, I was like, I think we're running him a little bit too much. And then saw him slowly get up, like got up and then went back down, and then I'm like, crap like is this really happening and it did happen it, it, it just it was one of those things like you just hope it wasn't severe but then you saw the cart coming out and you're just everybody was just holding their breath and then you see jimmy come out and part of me was kind of relief that we kept jimmy and another part of me was just gutted that this 22 year old just got his ankle broken felt that he was just put into a lot of pressure, not only by 49ers, myself included, but, you know, the media, the national media. I mean, it, it just got so much attention to a point where I just stopped kind of talking about Lance in a way because, like, I, I just knew that the expectations for Lance were not going to be met, regardless of what he did, if he took the Niners to the playoffs. Um there was always going to be something. And I felt like there was a, a different agenda out there because that's just how the media works. So, you know, it, it turned into like this whole fiasco and I just did not get myself involved in it. I was just like, no, I'm just going to be focused on talking about Niners team. Like I'm tired of talking about Lance. You know, I just hope he's great. So now this happens and, you know, I just, I didn't even bother checking. I did check on Twitter. I think that was my mistake, but fans were upset. Um, Fans were upset of how Kyle Shanahan was handling Trey Lance. And, you know, uh, people were kind of throwing some racial undertones with this whole scenario, which I think is it's literally insane to me. But this is, these are my thoughts of this whole situation. Once I, I was able to process everything after the game and, and sort of settle in and, and get my thoughts around the situation, I, I just felt that the way Kyle Shanahan was 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 going about about the whole situation with Lance was weird in the sense of like we knew he was the guy when he got drafted but we kept Jimmy and and uh then we're like okay we're we're waiting and then we waited till this year and then the whole Jimmy situation got weird again I, I'm thankful he's here now but it was just handled so awkwardly I should say I think it was awkwardly and, you know, now he gets hurt. And, and now we're questioning Shanahan's usage of Lance. To be quite honest with you, that doesn't bother me at all. The reason it doesn't bother me, number one, if you look back at the play, which I did, I looked at, I went back to watch the broadcast game. And I was like, was this a design run for Lance? That was kind of my first question. Like, did we just literally run him between the tackles, expecting him to, you know, pick up the first down. Second and eight, right? Turns out it was an option. So you could have handed it off. I don't know if it was Jeff Wilson Jr. or um, Davis Price running, but could have handed it off. And, you know, I guess his read was like, all right, I got, I could keep this. And then you went right between the tackles. Normal play, normal football play. And anyone could have gotten hurt on that play. Could have gotten hurt on multiple multitude of, of plays even with Garoppolo 
Um, I think there was a design run for Garoppolo, which, you know, at that point, you're just kind of like, all right, you're just going through the game plan, I guess, even with Jimmy Garoppolo at the helm. But, you know, it, it's just it's just so weird that we're questioning Kyle Shanahan running Trey Lance. I thought the whole point of getting a mobile quarterback was to, you know, and I heard about this, you know, after the fact, you want the defense to cover 11 on 11. And I thought that was the whole point. Now, Trey Lance is a different skill set than a Russell Wilson, a Patrick Mahomes. Those guys extend plays with their legs. They don't necessarily run plays um, like you see Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson. And Trey Lance is in that category, in my opinion, and I think in Kyle Shanahan's opinion. I think the, the 49er fan base was expecting him to use him like uh, like those guys, Patrick Mahomes, like uh, Russell Wilson, like, uh, hell, even Justin Fields. But, uh, you know, just the way he's built, he, he was built to run the football. And I think he knew that expectation. And I'm sure if you ask Trey Lance about the play, he's like, well, it's a normal football play. Like, I, I was expected to, to, to make those when I got here. So, uh, not trying to defend Kyle Shanahan because I felt like this whole situation has been awkward to begin with. Um, with, you know, Jimmy and, and um, Trey Lance both being here since they, you know, Trey Lance got here at least. And um, it makes it even worse when, you know, it, it just hurts the development of Trey Lance. And I think that's kind of uh, where we're heading towards because we still have a season to look forward to, right? And this win felt like a loss to a lot of fans. Um, <clears throat> uh, I sure, you know, it took me some time to to fully process what was happening in, during the game. Like, oh snap! Well, well, now we have to we have Jimmy. You know, it, it, it's not the end of the world. But you know, it still pains you to watch a young kid, you know, break his ankle, and this was supposed to be the season of development. And we're not able to see that, and it, it just keeps moving him back. And, and remember, he didn't play 2020, um, got here 2021, did not play. He was back up to Jimmy Garoppolo, and now this was supposed to be his year. Now he's he's hurt. So we're looking at three full seasons of him not playing actual football. Um, so removing him from that element, I, I think that's really where I feel bad for him more so than angry at anything the 49ers did. Yeah, I went back and looked at it. I mean, yeah, sure. The running backs were running the football well. And, you know, could have avoided that? Sure, absolutely. But at some point during the year, we needed Trey Lance to be Trey Lance and, you know, be that dog and, and run between the tackles, so be it. He can't run outside, guys. He's not that quick. He's not Kyler Murray. He's not Lamar Jackson. His, you know, his skill set is running between the tackles if he's going to run. Let's be honest. And so um, it's just unfortunate. It's just an unfortunate situation. Now, um, just sticking to Trey Lance, he's going to recover, hopefully gets back healthy. By the start of the season, he's going to miss some key, you know, practices for sure. Um, and so, it, it, you know, looking forward into the future of 2023, is, 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 uh, I'm just interested how that's going to play out. And if this situation now, you treat him more with, I guess, kid gloves, you, you, you just bubble wrap him a little bit more. Because now he's shown you that he can get hurt. Maybe this changes the dynamic. But um, I think that the way Shanahan, the way the 49ers went about it, it was pretty normal. I mean, the 49ers have always been that physical run down your throat type of team with Shanahan. And when he has a quarterback that can do that, I, I think nothing changes. Um, it was just an unfortunate situation. And, you know... When, when you take the risk on taking a running quarterback, these are sort of the, risk, the risks that um, come with it. And so it, it's just unfortunate. This is why you, you kept Jimmy Garoppolo 
for this for this reason. I mean, God knows if we didn't have Jimmy, the season's over. The season is literally over in week two. And it reminds me of 2018 when Jimmy Garoppolo hurt his knee. Then we're looking like there's nobody. Nick Mullins, CJ Beathard. You seriously? Like, um, it, it was just one of those things. So, I mean, yeah, it, it was just a gut punch to all the 49er fans. But, hey, we have Jimmy now. So, let's focus on that. And for Trey Lance, he's going to recover. Hope he comes better than ever, stronger than ever. So, <clears throat> with all that Trey Lance talk out of the way, I just still want to focus on the game a little bit. So, the Seahawks just aren't good. <laughs> they aren't good at all, folks. Um, the 49ers really should have scored a touchdown at the very least with Trey Lance was, was, there, was in there. But, you know, they kicked two field goals. Jimmy Garoppolo comes in, um, throws a touchdown pass to, uh, Jesus, who was that to? Ross Dwelly. Yeah. Ross Dwelly scores a touchdown. And um, and then right before the half, we picked up the muff punt, was able to rush it in with Kyle Juszczyk. So um, Niners were up 20. They were up 20 nothing at the half. And so defense, I mean, you want to talk about this? This has been a, a really good defense. This is this was a great showing by the defense. Starting again, Talanoa Hufanga, who is playing out of this world, everywhere. I mean, the guy is just a ball magnet. He's a playmaker. I mean, some some guys just have a nose for the football, right? They know where the ball is gonna go before the ball snap. And I feel like Talanoa Hufanga is in those modes in those seasons where. Just a breakout player that came out of nowhere. And um, the 49ers really saw something in him even last year because he played some of these snaps last year. And, uh, yeah, he's just playing out of this world. And I I'm sure that's the reason why Jaquaski Tar isn't back with the 49ers because they're like, we, we got the replacement here. So it, it was nice to see Talanoa Hufanga come in, play back-to-back -back games. <clears throat> Really was the best player defensively, right? Um, outside of probably Nick Bosa. Like, he, he was that dominant. Nick Bosa picking up two sacks. Um, Deshaun Gibson picking up the interception. Um, Mooney picking up the other interception. Um, again, I love the corners we have. This is without um, Jimmy Ward at safety. So, Everything is clicking right now for the 49ers defensively. Um, felt that we contained Geno Smith a lot better than we did Justin Fields in the second half um, of the Bears game. So um, really love to see that. Really love to see that. Uh, special teams with a big surprise. Not only did we get a muff punt, but I, thought, I, I really felt the coverage on kickoff returns, on punt returns. Um, well, for the Seattle Seahawks, punt returns, kickoff returns. Like, we really covered well. And, you know, this special teams is night and day from last year um, when we have Richard Hightower here. Um, no shot at Richard Hightower, but it just felt like that, that unit all year was trying to figure it out, trying to move some pieces here and there. And we could have really never get a, a good feeling to it. And, you know, going into this year, the 49ers did – emphasize improving that area which is why we got um jesus i'm blanking ray ray mcleod blanking on names right now it's too early i only had one one uh, cup of coffee today but <laughs> um ray ray mcleod i felt like he was great on punt returns i mean i was a little i was a, a little on the edge of my seat there with some of these punt returns because it got really close like he would catch him i mean the seattle defender would be you know five yards from him ready to just lay him out but he did a good job just you know swaying and juke and moving around and, and avoiding that big hit there so special teams came with a surprise especially because i felt seattle's special teams was phenomenal in that week one game so in order to you know really neutralize them um and Pete carroll has always had really good special teams i think he came up as a special teams coach if, I'm, if i recall correctly but um, yeah, I, I really felt um, 
the 49ers in special teams, which is good. Offensively, I mean, we were running the football well. Again, Trey Lance gets hurt. That really puts a, a, a big, you know, sour taste in your mouth, I would say. But outside of that, um, yeah, sure. I mean, what do you expect from Jimmy? He hasn't really gone through a whole training camp, really didn't practice with any of these guys uh, all summer. So now he's just ramping it up with these guys. Um, you can tell that he he only had a, a strong connection with, with like, Ayuk. Tr did not really have a strong connection with uh, a guy like Danny Gray. Um, but, you know, that chemistry will have to come over time. And, um, yeah, so we just – We'll, we'll just see where we're at there after maybe a couple weeks. Hopefully that improves. But Jimmy Garoppolo is now in. Um, I know this is kind of an up and down already type of season. Week one, you're down. Then you come up. Week two, you're like we're, we're beating Seattle. Come back down. Now Jimmy Garoppolo's at the helm. It's a roller coaster ride, guys. But it's a very long season. We're fortunate enough that we have a quarterback who has proven not only to get to the playoffs, but get to a Super Bowl. So I think that's a major plus. And honestly, um, it saves the season. As, as hard as you want to believe it, you would rather have a Jimmy Garoppolo than um, Brock Purdy. I mean, he's unproven yet. We don't know what he is, but we'd rather have that. At least you can still compete with these guys. We have Denver coming, we have the Rams coming, so we're still we're still in a in a, in a good spot. Um, it, it's just a little somber because, of course, Lance. You want you want to see Lance. You want to see him play, and not only that, you want to see him succeed. And you know this is definitely a down spot. So shout out to Lance. Hope you get better, man. But anyways, 49er faithful. I, I need to hear where you're at with this. Leave your comments. I love to read them as always. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.